Hey, X team, um, it's Krista, and now Elsie uh, lives in New York City for the next two months. Um, so we're here to address a question that someone so wisely asked, which is, how do you stay organized? You know what you want, you want to pursue lacrosse in college, you've got all these different things, you, you know that school's going to be hard, you know that there's stuff to do with X team, you know that there's stuff to do with your family and all that jazz, so how do you stay organized? And I have a couple of tips. One, the biggest tip I have is if something can take you less than two minutes, do it right now. Um, everything else you want to put in categories. Sometimes people color code things. I like to color code things. Um, sometimes I put things categorically by like, um, okay, say this is something I have to do for X team player development or for X team events. Um, so I put all my to-do lists in each of those categories so I know how to tackle them. My other kind of crazy two tips um, about staying organized and then actually getting yourself ready to do those things because like there's one thing about being organized and like having things in different categories and this is another thing entirely about tackling your to-do list within each of those categories some things are really fun like I have to eat well that's fun I have to sleep well that's fun right but I have to let's say do a project that I know is going to take me two hours um, here are my two tips one dress for the part so like usually if I'm coming in here and I have a really long day, I like wear something I'm going to be comfortable in and at the same time like something that makes me feel like cute, you know, like I can like do it uh, because that makes me feel like I can take it on. The second thing is eat for the part. I think that so many of you guys in high school, it's like, oh, let me just shove this thing in my face. Um, after school and then I'm going to practice. Like if you're one, trying to be a practice, trying to get the, be the most out of something, two, trying to think through something. Um, you're, 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 you're expending energy. And if you have a sausage and egg and cheese biscuit in you, like that's kind of what's going to happen when you do the work. Um, so fill yourself up with, with really, really, really good stuff. Um, I change my eating habits in the morning and I get so much more done throughout the day because I'm like, I'm not eating like lettuce. I mean, I do like lettuce, but I'm eating like, you know, um, oatmeal and fruit and tons of water, staying hydrated. We are like magical computers, like little engines, like maybe big engines. So we've got to keep fueling them. Um, any tips you have? Yeah, for me, it's just as you're writing your to-do list, as you're making all of the different lists and compartments of things you have to do, don't file them away to a place where you're not going to look at them. That's when it's really easy to, to lose your, your momentum and uh, get unorganized. So that's our tips. Um, getting organized is the first step, I think, in like really starting to come up with an active plan towards what you want. Getting organized is about like seeing your goals broken down into steps. Um, and I think you can take an hour or so a week to really get organized. It's going to make you spend your time and you guys are all so busy way more efficiently. Um, stay organized, people. <laughs>